quickly. I was most certainly not wittering. I was imparting knowledge. <laughs> Oh, a well hidden trap indeed. Uh, now then, um, where is this trap of yours, Magira? It, it was over here. No. Yeah. Oh, I have waited long for this moment. I have a little longer to wait till it's foul you're after. <laughs> come, come, Baloo. You'll have to do better than that. Go hold still, you infernal. Oh, <laughs> you can't help the whelp now, Baloo. Man cub, it's time for you to run. Run away! Out of my way! Who won't this thing be? You're getting a bit slow, Shiro. Come back here, I haven't finished with you! You have for now! Come, come, Shiro. Use your brain. The man cub might run, but not forever. He'll be back to help his friend out of the trap, and next time he won't be so lucky. Hello, are you all right? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. It is Mowgli. Is he uh, he's back? Mowgli? No, she can't. Go, Bagheera. Go and find Mowgli and keep him safe. Ah, Baloo, quite comfortable down there? No? Well, I expect your friend, the man cub, will come back to help you out soon. And when he does... <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like a vine? No, of course not. You look like a snake. A very handsome snake. Oh, it's lucky for you I've eaten this sweet man cub. Oh, Baloo's in trouble. He's fallen into a trap. A man trap. And Shere Khan. What's that treacherous tiger got to do with it? He tricked Baloo into falling into the trap. Yes, he sounds like the sort of thing he'd do. Oh, I've got to get him out. Car, can you help me? I have no love of Shere Khan. No man, for that matter. I shall see what I can do. Oh, thank you, Car. Come on, man cub. Your friend needs your help. There's more where that came from, Shere Khan. I should save your energy, Baloo. Man will be along soon to skin you and roast your meat. <laughs> Dirty, rotten cub. <laughs> He'll hear you. Car says he's going to help us. Uh, I'm not sure, but he can't do anything while Shere Khan's waiting by the trap. We've got to get him away from it. Good idea. How? Well, we could, um... We could... Ugh, have you got any ideas? Not just at the moment. Ow! Oh, 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 my tail! It's burning! <laughs> so it is. Look! <laughs> It's Baloo's eyeglasses. They must have concentrated the sun's rays on you. Oh, it burns. I think that Bagheera, what is Shere Khan most frightened of? Man? Even more than man. Fire. Exactly, fire. It's at times like these that I can really do with a set of legs or two. Don't worry, Bagheera. It won't hurt you. I I'm not so sure. Oh, careful, Madly. I'd have thought your little furless friend might have been here by now, Baloo. <laughs> that smell. It smells like... <laughs> Have you, man cub? In spite of the fire, I'll have you. No, no, get away from me. Not so great now, I see it, Thorn. Thorn, run! Put it down. Put it down, and I'll spare you. You expect me to believe that? Hello? Mowgli said I might find you here. Car, is that you? It is indeed. Now, if you'll grab hold of my tail. So, you give me. You're stretching me. Keep that shit on, or I'll roast you. Let's just say I had a little help from a friend, shall we? And now, Shere Khan, I think it's time for you to go. Two against one? It's just not fair, is it? You've been lucky this time, man cub. But you can't be lucky every day of your life. Oh, thanks, Baloo. You too, Bagheera. Here, you might have found it easier to get out of the trap with these on your nose. Oh, oh, oh thank you, Mowgli. Uh, and now I think we had better fill this hole before any other unsuspecting creature falls into it. Ah, ah. We'd have been lost without your help. Well, I won't be doing it again in a hurry. Give me a spot of battle. And we your backs as long as mine. <laughs> Yes, I know it doesn't smell too good. Good, it smells like something that sneak of a jackal tobacco might have dropped out of feeding on stink bugs. <laughs> yes, yes, all very amusing. But this wild garlic is the thing if you want to steal honey from the bees. You like the smell, you see. So, if it's honey you're after, wild garlic is the way to get it. The safest way to get your honey, though, is to wait until after dark, you see. Bees are like any other creature. They need to sleep. And another thing that bees don't like is water. Should you be trying to get your honey while cousin bee is awake, well, a bee can't sting you underwater. Have you heard enough about bees for one day? For a month. Me too. Come on. And water's good for getting rid of the smell, too. You see, Mowgli, Mowgli, I hadn't finished. Ah, there you are. You got you. Oh, oh, God, I was expecting someone else. <laughs> I don't take kindly to being woken just after a meal. I think I ought to teach you some manners. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor Baloo, I wonder if he's still telling us about bees and garlic and... Wow, look at those cliffs.
Panther friendly? Well, where the panther is, the accursed little rat won't be far away. I was about to ask. At your service. Now, where is the man come? Well, it looks as if I'll have to push the answer out of you, doesn't it? <laughs> Baloo was right. Bees don't like water. Thanks, Baloo. Uh, I showed that bully of a tiger. <laughs> uh, uh, with a little help from you, of course. Bagheera, what's happened? A little set to with Shere Khan. Oh, Baloo! Oh, oh, steady on, Magli. Just a little tender there. So, Shere Khan did this, eh? Well, he's not going to get away with it. Now, Magli, you're not going to do anything rash. Some friend I'd be if I just stood by and let Shere Khan batter you. I'm going to get him. You will do no such thing. What chance do you have against a maddened tiger? Mm, not much, I suppose. So, let that be an end to... Oh, ah. Hello? What was it you said about bees sleeping again? So you were listening. A bit. <laughs> Once the sun goes down, our friends the bee... Friends? The ones I found today weren't exactly friendly. What bees? I met a whole swarm of them by the marble cliffs. Should have been there. Those bees are killers. Not even hearty. The elephant would dare to bring the fury of the black bees. Good. Now, Magli, you are not under any circumstances, whatever. You are not to go near those bees again. Understood? Yes, Baloo. Oh, teach that tiger skin rug in waiting to mess with Baloo. Hey, bee, don't you know anything? You're supposed to be asleep. That's better. <sighs> I shall be telling you about how to keep on the right side of a muskrat. So, which is the right side of a muskrat? This side or this side? Ah, now that's not as silly a question as you might think. <sighs> you see, the musk... the musk... <sighs> no, Magli, do try to pay attention. I'm all ears, but... <sighs> yeah, now... <sighs> and you were saying... <sighs> Just too easy. Sleep tight, Baloo, and watch out, Shere Khan, to make it nice and easy for Shere Khan to follow me. Good morning, Baloo. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, where's Mowgli? He's right here. Oh, Mowgli! Mowgli! Really? You surprise me, Baloo. I'd have thought you'd have taught your people better jungle craft than this. I could follow this track with my eyes closed. I hope I haven't made the trail too easy. Uh-oh. I have you now, Van <laughs> <laughs> There is no escape now! No one hurts my friends! Get away from me! Oh, no! Shere Khan, nil. Nil! Don't you ever run off like that again. Oh, but Baloo, he did leave an easy trail for us to follow. Oh, I showed him. No one messes with my friends and gets... Mowgli, I strictly forbade you from this course of action, and you ignored me. You did quite magnificently. <laughs> oh, the look on his face as he tumbled over the edge. You should have seen the look on Shere Khan's face as he fell. <laughs> that is beside the point. Mowgli should have listened. He should have paid attention to what I said. And you, the tiger did look a little... <laughs> <laughs> Silly birds. You should be used to Mowgli the man by now. Mowgli, you're late for your lessons. Oh, who cares? Baloo will care, that's for sure. How can I get off lessons today? Baloo loves a challenge. You could try asking him a really difficult question, something that will keep him busy for ages. Then you could run... ...off and play whilst he was figuring out the answer. Cool, you're a genius, Bagheera. When we consider that man is unquestionably the mightiest of the primates... Oh, afraid, Mowgli. Excuse me, Baloo. Yes? What's the record number of coconuts that's ever grown on a palm tree? Two hundred. Oh, that's too easy, Mowgli. Uh, um, what's the height of the tallest male giraffe? Six meters or twenty feet, depending on how you measure these things. Oh, you've got to do a lot better than that. How 
many monkeys can a python snake swallow in one gulp? Uh, hmm. ah, that's an interesting question. Bingo. <laughs> now, if we compare an adult python five feet in length with your average monkey, which is approximately half a meter in length, uh, say something Muggle will be here all day. It would be interesting to find out the answer myself, Baloo. And where exactly will you go to find out the answer to your question, Muggy? I'll go and talk to the only python I know, of course. <laughs> now, if six monkeys yeah, could fit inside a hippopotamus, it would be reasonable to assume that six. Good morning, Carl. What's so good about it? Oh, it can't be easy shedding your skin every few months. It makes me itchy, twitchy, and so scratchy. Um, I know you're busy, but how many monkeys can a python swallow in one gulp? You're not irritating my itchy skin, Uncle. Oh, come on, Carl. You're a python. You must know the answer. Of course I know the answer. I'm just not in the mood for stupid chit chat. I'll scratch your back if you'll answer my question. No, away! Carl's in a bad mood. I know, not a good time to pay a visit. <sighs> I bet the Bandanov would know the answer to my question. You must not go near those monkeys, Mowgli. Oh, what harm can they do? They're not half as dangerous as Shere Khan. The Bandanov are nasty little tricksters. They, they run circles around you. Don't even think of going there. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, well, I'd better get back to Baloo. Good idea, Mowgli. See you later, Bagheera! That looks complicated. <laughs> oh, Darcy, goodness, I was miles away. Where's Mowgli? No, oh, he said he was going to seek advice from Carl. That was some time ago. Carl, he's shedding his old skin. Oh, dear, I, I'd better go and look after Mowgli right away. <laughs> was here. Did you answer his question by any chance? Of course not. I sent the man up packing. That's bad news, Car. The boy's been gone all day. I am not his keeper. That's your job, Baloo. Oh, oh Baloo, I just saw Bagheera in the friendly there. He was looking for Mowgli, too. Now oh, they'll say it's all my fault. Oh, dear, come on. Don't worry, man, come. You'll soon have company. Have you any idea where Mowgli could be, Bagheera? He told me he was coming here. He hasn't been here all day. The last place he was seen was Carr's cave. He wouldn't do that, would he? I hope not. What, what, what are you talking about? Mowgli did mention the Bandalog. Of course, I told him not to go. If the man cub is foolish enough to go to the Bandalog, he will need rescuing. You were that keen to help him earlier, Carr. Do you want my help or not? Uh, um, that's most kind of you, Carr. Let's not waste time! <laughs> Stuck between the Bandalog and Shere Khan! And this is the only way out! I have to try it! No sign of Mowgli! Uh, nor of the Bandalog! He's trying to get away from Shere Khan! Hello, monkeys! <laughs> This time, I got him well and truly cornered. Give me the man cub, you slimy reptile! You have to fight me before you get to them! And me too, Shere Khan! You can't protect the man cub all of the time! One day soon, I'll have him! Thank you so much for coming to find me. You lied to me, Mabu. I'm sorry, Bagheera. You were right to tell me not to come here. Hmm. So, Blue? What was that question I asked you again? Um, well, now, let's see. Um, um, how many monkeys can a python swallow in one gulp? <laughs> Depends how hungry the python is. <laughs> the Council of Wolves is not a place to play. So, how... Of 
all the matters been discussed. No, Archela, I have a grievance. Uh, speak on, Bona. The man cub should be with his own kind. Huh? Bona has always resented Mowgli. He feels that as a human, he has no place in the pack. And we have no say in the matter. Mowgli was adopted by the wolves. We have no voice at their council. But Archela, I am with my own kind. I've been brought up a wolf, and a wolf I am. Your teeth are as little stumps compared to a wolf's. You cannot run like a wolf. I can run as fast as any wolf. <gasps> no, Mowgli. Oh, this is not the way to handle things. I say we have a race. And the winner decides on your fate. Yes. Mowgli, you are certain of your course. And the race will be run tomorrow. <laughs>
you? What are you doing? Just limbering up. I thought you might like to see what racing's really about. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> <dear>. <laughs> Hold still. I'm trying to study you. Wait! Hello? Uh, uh, what is it? Can I borrow your eyeglasses? Eyeglasses? I want to see those butterflies close up, but every time I get near, they fly away. Well, the thing is, Smabley, I can't see a thing without my glasses. Please, I'll give them back right away, I promise. Well, all right then. Just for a minute. Look at me! What do you think, Baloo? I'm clever now. I'm king of the jungle! Be very careful now. I don't have a spare pair. <laughs> don't worry, Baloo. Oh, I think this butterfly is my favourite. This one is very nice. <laughs> All right now, that's enough. Oh, is the map before they get damaged? Yes, I've got them. Just give me a moment. Watch it, man cub. You slipped on my tail. Oh, I didn't mean to. I was just looking for something. Hey! <laughs> What's going on, Mowgli? Who are you talking to? What about my glasses? <laughs> hey, come back with those! Come back! <laughs> Are you sure it was a bandalog monkey? I think so. A female. And what difference does it make? The glasses will be lost now. Those bandalog are crazy. Oh, I feel really bad, Baloo. This is all my fault. No, oh, just have to get along without them the best I can, won't I? As say you, Mowgli. You can take that silly ring off your face at once. Uh, Baloo, you're talking to a tree. What? Uh, oh. Agira, we have to go to the cold lair and find that monkey. Uh, no, Mowgli. You're not going anywhere tonight. We'll have supper and get some sleep. <laughs> silly monkey. What does she want with a pair of glasses anyway? You ask why there's snow on the mountains. Queen Masha will tell you. It drips down from the moon. There's snow on the moon? Of course. Why do you think it's white? Um, 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 why do elephants have long noses? That's an easy one. They use them to climb trees. I've never seen an elephant in a tree. They only do it when no one's looking. Oh. Oh, I can't say Queen Masha is the cleverest monkey you ever lived. No more questions. It is time for you to prepare food for your queen. I will also need to sit on my throne. I said no more questions. But I only want to ask, what is a throne? Not hungry, Mugly. Um, no, I think I'll go to sleep now. Good night, Bagheera. Good night, Baloo. And sorry. Good night, Mugly. Queen Masha. Not ripe enough. Any better, Queen Masha? Uh, too ripe. Man-cub. You are the worst subjects a queen ever had. I want a song. I want a song that's written just for me, so that every animal who hears it will know that I, Queen Masha, rule over the bandalog. Well, a song? Baloo, don't you think you were a little hard on Mowgli? I mean, he wasn't to know that the monkey was watching. Hmm. Perhaps you're right, Bagheera. I wouldn't want you to feel too bad about it. Poor little man-cub. He looks terrible. I hope he's not having bad dreams. Baloo, that's not Mowgli. He's gone. I'm waiting. Yes. Uh, yeah. Queen Masha, she is our queen. She's the very best queen there has ever been. Man-cub, what are you doing here? Worshipping you, of course. Queen Masha, she is our queen. She is the prettiest queen I've ever seen. She's never cruel on me. She's very, very keen on bananas. I know. Let's dance. Do you hear that? <laughs> you dance very well. But you'll dance even better without these. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Do something. Why should we? As your queen. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to eat this monkey, you'll have to eat me first. Excellent. I'll have a good dessert. Take care, honey. We'll save you! <laughs> Who from that? <laughs> huh? 
well, Mowgli. It was brave of you to go to the cold lair on my behalf, but you put yourself in serious danger. Next time, wait until we can all go. The well, mushroom's brave too, and it seems the other monkeys have forgiven her, which only leaves one small problem. <laughs> what to do about all my loyal new subjects? Hail King Baloo! Hail King Baloo! Hail King Baloo! <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't very friendly, calling Bala a cheat. How can you say that, Baloo? I thought you were on my side. These fights with your brother, they're only supposed to help you grow strong and learn the ways of the jungle. Why don't you go back and apologize? Huh. He only beat you because that claw you wear got in your way. Maybe you should take it off before you fight. I'll never take it off, and I'll never apologize to Bala. Why don't you just both leave me alone? Something's eating, that man cub. Yes, and talking of eating, I think it's dinner time. You haven't eaten. I'm not hungry. Does it really matter so much losing the fight? I mean, you've beaten Bala so many times. That's just it. I only win because of this. Your claw. Don't you remember how I got it? Of course, in a fight with Shere Khan. Why? I never told anyone, but ever since that day, I've won every battle. Don't you see, Bagheera? This claw brings me good luck. luck. What's so funny? Oh, no. <laughs> you are joking, aren't you, Mowgli? A claw brings you luck? How's that supposed to work? <laughs> Come on, let's go home. What does he know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch it. <laughs> Remember, only pick the right ones. Sorry. <laughs> well, you said you wanted right ones. Come on, Blue. You can wash yourself in the stream. Come on, Blue. I'm thirsty. So am I, man. Come. Thirsty for adventure. <laughs> oh, you don't belong in my jungle. Now, I will be rid of you forever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, Mowgli, but I think you've had a lucky escape. Oh, is he still up in that tree? Hmm. I'm not surprised after what you said. I feel a bit bad for laughing at him, Baloo, but come on, there's no room in the jungle for superstition. You're forgetting. He's a man cub, and humans see things differently. He'll probably never let that charm out of his sight. Oh. Huh? My charm! <laughs> I don't see my charm anywhere. Oh, oh, wake up! You're sleeping on my... There it is! Come on, Carr ate some bad food. He has indigestion and he's sleeping it off. You know what that means? Yes, it means I can't get my charm back. I dropped it. Forget it. A python with indigestion is worse than a tiger with toothache. Ow! Aren't you going to eat something, Mowgli? These berries are good. How about a rat? Uh, Carr won't be the only one with indigestion. Don't worry. You'll get the charm back just as soon as Carr wakes up. When will that be? Well, he did eat a water buffalo. I say, anywhere between three and six months. <laughs> Mowgli, I didn't like what you said. If you still want that rematch, you can have it. I'll meet you at sundown and we'll settle this once and for all. Now, Bala, Mowgli didn't mean to call you. Yes, I did. I'll be there. Then we'll see who's the strongest until sundown. Sundown. Maybe it's for the best. At least Mowgli won't have his lucky charm to help him. Hey! Hey, wake up, you silly snake! Oh, God! Can you let me go, please? This will work. There must be some way to wake him up. Baloo, is that you? Well, if this is a panther's idea of a snack, I'm blood on my man cop. Caw! Oh, caw! Supper time! Look what I've got for you! A nice, smelly, moldy rat! Not bad. See you, Con! And now that I've had my appetizer, it's time for the main course. Where is he? You mean he hasn't shown up? That's not like Mowgli. He's a coward. Afraid to face me. Bala, you and Mowgli should stop this silly fighting. Lali's right, Bala. This quarrel is so needless. You are wise, Baloo, but this is between Mowgli and me. When you see him, tell him I'm waiting for him. I can't understand why he's not here. Mowgli's no coward. I'm not afraid of you. I beat you in a fight once before. You mean when I lost my claw? I've got bad news for you. They grow back. <laughs> What is going on around here? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? Who woke me up? Oh, just you try and eat me. I got my lucky claw! If I wasn't feeling so ill, you'd make a good snack, man cub. Don't ever, ever disturb my sleep again. And you don't need a lucky claw. You're brave enough without it. Here, I won't be needing this. <gasps> so you finally showed up. The winner of this fight will be declared the strongest for all time. All right, but first I want to say... What are we waiting for? Let's get on with it! <laughs> Well, do you surrender? Father, there's something I have to tell you. What? That I'm the strongest. No, that I'm sorry. Really? You mean it? Yes, I shouldn't have called you a cheat. Well, thanks. And I told Lolly I thought you were a coward. That's not true. 
<laughs> so, why are we fighting? I, I don't remember. We're brothers, aren't we? I declare the contest a draw. Neither of them is the stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't need this, though. That's true, Baloo, but I like to wear it. It reminds me that I once beat Shere Khan in a fight. Hmm. With a little luck. You were lucky this time to escape from Shere Khan's claws. Shere Khan is certainly one to bear a grudge. <laughs>